Okay, here's my uh, Ford high idle resumer. The problem is that uh, if you hit the brake or anything, the high idle will stay off, and you have to turn off your high idle and turn it back on in order for the high idle function again. This is really annoying. Uh, if somebody hits the brake or something or anything, I expect the high idle to go back up on its own on five seconds. So that's what this circuit does. Um, the red light represents the signal to the ECU calling for a high idle. That's the PTO request line, yellow and green wire. The yellow light represents the, the dashboard switch, whatever you're feeding it with. You know, If you turn off your dashboard switch, the, this red light would go off, obviously, because it would stop sending the PTO request and the PTO would shut off. This green light means that the PTO OK light is on. In other words, this is connected to the ECU's PTO relay pin, the blue and white wire and it's basically an indicator that says the PTO is currently engaged and operating and um, nobody has pressed the brake or anything. If someone presses the brake, this green light will go off and the PTO will shut down per the ECU even though we haven't turned off the PTO switch. And it won't come back on until the whole system is cycled. So that's what this does. So right now the PTO is on and the PTO PTO OK light is on, so we're going to make it so that it that somebody screwed up the PTO by pressing the service brake or release the parking brake and then put it back on, and then this light would go off, All right? So it's going to detect that, and it's going to. You saw that this the bottom this light went off. That means that it's not sending the PTO request signal to the ECU anymore when it's off. This red light on the top means that my relay is engaged that's interrupting that circuit that I just previously discussed. So it's basically cutting the wire between the switch on the dash and the ECU. So it's no longer getting a request for PTO. And then, so theoretically, on the screen here, it's uh, it senses that it's been interrupted and it's trying to resume it. As soon as I do resume it, it's going to... As soon as I, I turn, as soon as I get that signal that says that the PTO OK light comes back on, it's all good. It stops oscillating, it stops triggering between the two, and it goes back to stable. But if ever the PTO is disabled, it will try to resume it. That's that.